Hi. Vacation is almost over. <laughs> I'm sad. But also happy that I am going back home. I leave in two days. When is it to be exact? Today is a Monday. And I just want to go get a travel bag because I'm going to trash all of my boxes. It's just unnecessarily heavy. I'm headed to go get a travel bag, like I mentioned. One of my boxes is just doing anyhow. <laughs> I know I mentioned before that I was going to change all my boxes, but I will start with one and I'm trashing that one here. I'm going to drop it for charity. It's so heavy and there's nothing inside. The box on its own is over 5 kg, so it doesn't really make any sense. So I just want to go to Sports Direct and I have that bag. The last time I came, I bought it. I don't know why I did not just come with it this time. So let me go and buy it again. And um, I also want to check Primark for some basics, buy more tees like this one I have on, probably white and any other color I see. Um, I also want to go to Covent Garden, take pictures. I already started packing my stuff, about 80% done and yeah that's it that's the itinerary for today the schedule for today i'm going to take you all along with me this my hair has seen shaggy but still it looks very sleek i haven't straightened it i haven't done anything on it for the past i've been here almost two months yo it's still so good Thank God for good hair because if this if this wasn't a good hair, by now the whole thing for the Africa. <laughs> I'm just at the bus stop waiting for my bus, and when it comes, I'll go to the tube, take the northern line, and head out. Let me see if I can show you all OOTD. Yeah, this is OOTD. I'm on this white shirt. Okay, I'm my shorts, flippy shorts from Max and Spencer, and my sneakers is from. <laughs> Hair is from CN dresses, of course. Of course. If you don't know, now you know. See, I just flipping in the air. <laughs> and it went like When I look at you like I lose it completely. Losing track of space and time. Looking for a reason to stay here all night. I wonder, do you feel it too? Magic between me and you, the way that you make me feel. You wonder if I feel the same. The blood's rushing through your veins, and then when I say your name, bet I. gonna come through everybody's kind of watching from a distance we've got a nice audience but everyone's watching from a distance could i just like the last three minutes of the show can i get anyone curious in uh yeah. if you hold it nice and light you give it a big swing and a gentle spin it might do a full 360 into my hand on the count of three this time though we go we'll do it all together hey look we've got a, we've got a nice audience one. good start let's go one two three as a team if you are watching do join in try to have a little bit of fun with this every single person counting to three ready one, one two, two three, three. Oh. nice man wow. nice perfect that last knife when you throw it i'm going to try to get straight to a juggle from your throat so you throw it i juggle you run for your life everybody here clubs for you <laughs> hey christoph's been a legend he's come out here he's made the entire show possible uh, just want to say thank you to everybody else as well. You guys have been, you've made the show possible just by, by stopping and watching, giving some energy and some applause. Just real quick, give, give yourself a little bit of love for coming on out to Covent Garden on a Monday morning. So good to see everybody out and about still. Um, look, I'm a street performer. I know everyone's seen street entertainment before, so I'm not going to go on and on about this. But I do have to mention that I take off the hat at the end. If you guys want to support the show, amazing. Come forward, say a thank you. That means the world. If you say thank you, that's all you gotta do. I'll say thank you back. But if you can't pop something in the hat, that keeps this show alive. That keeps me alive. That keeps the streets of London alive, just like we're doing right now. And if you guys did have a bit of fun, try to support street entertainment as often as you can. But that's 
all I'm going to say about the money. Oh, one last thing. I am a professional street performer, so I do have a card reader. If you want to pay my card, you're more than welcome to. If you really want to support the show but you don't have cash, I got a card reader. But right now, what I need more than anything is a, an audience that wants to be here while this guy's throwing this knife at me. Christopher, are you ready? There we go. How about a little cheer? Everybody go, yay! Yay! That was really good. Everybody over there, say yay! Yay! Everybody over there, say yay! Yay! Just the people on the Punch of Judy balcony, say yay! Good effort. <laughs> oh, by the way, Balcony. Yay. Balcony, you never have to come down to pay for street entertainment. Come and go. We will always come up and collect. I'll see you guys in two minutes. Thanks for watching. All right, let's do this, Christoph. Thanks for your help. Aim for the hand and run for your life. On three, you throw it one more time. If you are watching, do join in. Every single person counting for three. Ready? One, two. Wait, wait, wait. No regard for the safety rope. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, second attempt. Everybody counting for three. Ready? One, two, three. Beautiful. Beautiful. Clap it for Christoph, everybody. Thanks, man. You did a great job. Hey, y'all. So I'm about to leave in here. This is what made me come. This telephone booth at Broadcourt. I've taken pictures. I've created content, short form content. And I'm about to leave. If you're looking to come here, it's just opposite the Royal Opera House. And yeah, you'll see it. It's close to Covert Gardens, about three, four minutes walk. And uh, that's it. Let's go. <laughs> to get that back this evening. <laughs> this is my last hangout before I leave. I leave tomorrow, but I said I must make the most of my time here. I am going to the London Eye area. I'm meeting up with Steph of Metro Gypsy platform and we're just going to chill. She had um, a theater viewing live play thing um booked and i'm at plus one so we're going there going to have fun take pictures i also want to take pictures for something that you all see it's at hopefully that goes well i'm at the tube station just waiting for my train it's one minute out we're scheduled to meet at five at the waterloo station but i'm going to get there early so i don't just waste any time eta should be 4 30 for me and then i'll just wait for her for 30 minutes probably grab smoothie or something at mcdonald's so yeah that's it see ya later my train is here just like i said one minute out to sit down with anybody so i'll go to this empty one. <laughs> drama <laughs> thank you this station is burnt oak this is a yes. northern line train yeah. by charing cross terminating yes please You think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. Yo, see Stephanie She looks so good See what she got me My eyes are so watery <laughs> Like joke. <laughs> This thing is so big, this London line.
not Dubai has. Dubai has. The same thing. Yeah. Uh, they just do it. Uh, so people went out this thing. I'm not going to fit you. Mm -hmm. And I heard it's so slow. Thank you so much for the picture. Steph. Welcome. Steph. Okay. <laughs> so she saw us taking pictures and she's like, oh, should we, do we want to take one of ourselves? Shop I cute girls that. taking pictures. Yeah, exactly. Having fun. Having fun. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Thank You're very you. welcome. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? How are you too? Hi, Steph. How's fun? He's good. What's your Instagram <laughs> name? Your Instagram no, no, name? I'm not. Oh, I'm not. Okay, okay, but it's okay to be on her channel because I'm making the video for her. Love that. But is it okay to be on her channel? It's alright. Alright, cool. Oh, right. Hey, lovely to meet you. Are you to take it back? Yeah, maybe some oh. of that you can come around. Okay. okay. No problem. My name is Eunice. Eunice. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm actually. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya. Ask you all my questions. Get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for credit? I said no. No, see the eye. It's pink tonight. Can you Barbie girl? I'm a Barbie girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks so pretty at night. Barbie. Barbie. Yeah, I'm also letting my sneakers go. This is a sign of enjoyment. Sneakers has been through a lot of miles. <laughs> and it's giving way. Oh, see. It's so comfortable. There's really no need taking it back to Nigeria. Since I'm going to use it. I think I'm going to take out the lace, keep the lace, and then trash the sneakers. I'm done packing. Just what's left is just to close this bowl because I need to put my bath bag inside. Once I'm done, I'll close it. And this other one, I need to put my tripod. So that's the box I'm letting go of. Our relationship is done. So this is <laughs> I replaced it with this one from Sports Direct that I told you so I couldn't find it in store that day I had to pay for next day delivery which was annoyingly expensive $9.99 but yeah it came through and this is it this bag has increased the one I told you I have I bought four years ago it was £10 and now it is £14 only God knows how much it will be the next time I come so what I'll do is always travel with the Sports Direct bags and probably a box because I don't understand why I'll be wasting 4kg over 4kg just for the weight of the box if that makes any sense so that's it everything is complete my bags are a bit overweight Hopefully when I go there, the fact that I bought an extra um, 23 kg, they might just 
have mercy on me because there's nothing else I can do again. The only option would be to upgrade to 32 kg, but I'm not about to spend one couple. Hopefully, it works out that way. I'm a child of grace and favor, so I know my God will come through for me. <laughs> That's trash. I want to go and drop. I'm doing some laundry downstairs. My bed sheets and stuff just to clear the room and keep it neat. Trash the dustbin, wash the dustbin as well. And um, yeah, everything looks okay. That's what I'm wearing with the jeans. This is the hair I'll use. I'm also letting go of that slippers. It's unnecessarily heavy. Even for my feet, it's tiring. So I'm leaving it. Matters I should drop it, should give it to charity. I'm talking in a hush tone because people are still sleeping. So. See ya. You're ready and about to leave. Oh, my cab is here. Ah. Yes, bye, flower. I just arranged it in the house here, yeah, and it looks so good. This will last another seven days. My lord. Yeah, he sets my body in motion. He just, he knows how to turn things up. And he knows what gets me going. Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us, thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us, mm. Why do I need to be good all the time? <laughs> I'm trying to push my thing, but yeah, my driver was. Oh, is this? this the, my driver was the best, the very best. He was just chatting with me all through the ride. That's the terminal, Qatar Airways. I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine. Don't care what they say, too late anyway. Yeah, I just got done checking in. See this God. When I tell people to always serve God with all your hearts, people will be like, mm, I'm just some people shall not tell people they'll be like, mm, she's over exaggerating. Let me give you all a little testimony. So I told you all that my bag was over the 23 kg allocated weight, right? What I did not tell you was that it was about 28, right? Even the extra luggage I had to pay for. And I just went with faith. I'm like, okay, I've done everything humanly possible. I've changed my bag. God, you just have to take over. And I went there and checked in. You will not believe that the guy at the counter just said, give her 32 for everything. Give her 32 kg for everything. See favor, it's never done. People pay money for these things. I was going to pay extra. What I was going to think, I said, okay, I'll upgrade one of my bags to 32 by paying and then just rough it. Because one of my friends sent me something, one kind of World Cup thing that was so heavy and that's what really affected me. But God did it. God did it. Even my hand luggage was over 7 kg. They did not check. They just stacked it. See this God. Okay, I'm just walking to my gate. I need to say gates. Okay. Walking to my gate. What in has even started? Oh yeah, I was looking for the boot store. Thank God it's here. Let me buy something. Jesus.
yes we just arrived Doha. it was such an amazing flight such an amazing flight so smooth <sighs> now the next leg came out from the loo. I want to freshen up, brush my teeth, change my top, eat skincare, and all of that shit bang. I feel so good because Nigeria is so hot. I heard it's about 37, between 35 and 37, so I needed to change my shirt for this last leg. And I also changed my footwear to my Crocs. See you later. But I'm glad you're here oh, oh, oh. landed <laughs> oh my goodness i'm excited to be back but i still have my reservations i think i'd have preferred having more time there but yeah i'm excited to be back to base there's no place like home i have a lot of work to do but i'm not mad at it at all your girl is back just going to pass through security now get my baggage and head home.